Configure and verify a side-to-side -side IPsec VPN using command line interface. The addressing table R1 with two interfaces R1, R2 with three interfaces here R2, R3 with two interfaces R3, three PCs PCA on router R1, PCB on router R2, and PCC on router R3. The network topology shows three routers. Your task is to configure R1 and R3 to support a side-to-side -side IPsec VPN when traffic flows between their respective lengths. The IPsec VPN tunnel is from R1 to R3 via R2. R2 acts as a pass-through and has no knowledge of the VPN. IPsec provides secure transmission to sensitive information over unprotected networks, such as Internet. IPsec operates at the network layer and protects and authenticates IP packets between participating IPsec devices, peers, such as Cisco routers. ISA KMP phase one policy parameters. Okay, you will configure this. The parameters, for example, key distribution method. These are the parameter options and defaults. For key distribution method, you have two options, manual or ISA KMP. On R1 and R3, configure ISA KMP. The encryption algorithm. You have three options, but on R1 and R3 you will use AES-256. The hash algorithm, you have two options. You will configure on R1 and R3 SHA-1. The authentication method, you have two options. You will use pre-share key on R1 and R3. The key exchange, the Diffie-Hellman group, you have three options. You will use Diffie-Hellman group 5 on both devices. IKE SA lifetime and 86,400 seconds or less. You will use the maximum value 86,400. And ISA KMP key, you will provide this value. So it's a password. So you can choose any password, but do this on this lab BPM PA55. Okay, use this password to get the marks, to get the points on this activity. Bold parameters are defaults. Only unvolved parameters have to be explicitly configured. ISA KMP is used by default, SHA1, 86,400 by default. IPsec phase 2 policy parameters. Okay, the parameters on R1 and R3. Okay, so. And remember, the tunnel will be configured between R1 and R3. Okay, the transfer set name, VPN set, on both sides. This is a name. You can choose any name, but use this for this activity. Okay, to get the, the, the marks and points. ESP transform encryption, use ESP AES on both sides. ESP transform authentication, ESP SHA, HMAC, pure IP address. For R1, the pure is 10.2.2.2. For R1, the pure is the IP address of the serial 001 on R3. Okay, 001 on R3 is, is 10.2.2.2. And for R3, the peer is 10.1.1.2. Okay, for R3, the peer is the IP address of 
serial interface on R1, serial 000, the IP address of serial 000 on R1. The IP address of serial 000 on R1 is 10112. Traffic to be encrypted, create an access list 110. The source is the network 10 and the destination is 30 for R1. Okay, for R1, the source address is network 10 and destination network is 30. And the access list on R3, the source is 30 and destination 10. Okay. On R3, the source is 30, and the destination network is 10. Crypto map name, VPN map. Okay, this is a name. You can use any name, but for this activity, use this case sensitive. Okay, be careful with the names. And SA establishment, IPsec, ISA, KMP on both sides. Okay. The routers have been pre configured with the following console password Cisco COM PA55, BTY, Cisco BTY PA55, enable password Cisco MPA55, username and password for SSH, SSH admin Cisco SSH PA55, case sensitive, and they are using OSPF 101. Is the dynamic routing protocol. Okay, configure IPsec parameters on R1. Test connectivity ping from PCA to PCC. Okay, from PCA ping to PCC. Go to PCA, command prompt, ping to PCC. 192.168.33 Success. Very good. Also, you can test with tracer. You have four hopes. The first hope is uh, remember the source is on PCA, the destination on PCC. The first hope is R1. The second hub is R2. The third hub is R3. The fourth hub is PCC. After configure the VPN, the tunnel, this will be different. Okay. Enable the security technology package. Enable the security technology package by using the following command to enable the package. On R1, on global configuration mode. Okay, go to R1. Enter um, the console password. Remember this Cisco Compi A55. Cisco Compi A55. Enter. Enable. Enable password Cisco and PA55. Cisco and PA55. Configure terminal on global configuration mode. Configure this command. Okay, this command. License boot module. Cisco 1900. Okay, uh, remember the device is a Cisco 1941 router, a 19 series router. Okay, so that's why the module is C1900. Okay, technology dash package security K9. Enter. Accept, yes, enter, enter, okay. Accept and save the running configuration and reload the router to enable the security license, okay. And 
copy running config to startup config enter enter and reload enter enter and wait a moment Verify that the security technology package has been enabled by using show version. They enter uh, console password Cisco com PA55 enable enable password Cisco and PA55 show version space 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 security security K9 security K9 very nice is activate. Okay, otherwise uh, will be unknown but the security k9 is activated identify interesting traffic on r1 configure access control list 110 to identify the traffic from the lang on r1 to the lang on r3 okay remember lang on r1 lang on r3 this interesting traffic will trigger the IPsec VPN to be implemented when there is traffic between R1 to R3 LANs. All other traffic sources from the LANs will not be encrypted. Because of the implicit deny all, there is no need to configure deny IP any any statement. Okay? Because there is an implicit deny all. Okay. And Create the access list on R1. Okay, configure terminal. Do this on global configuration mode access dash list 110. Permit IP. Remember the source is this network 182.168.1.0. 182.168.1.0. Use the wildcard for the net mask, the inverse, and the destination is 3.0. Nine eight two one sixty eight three zero. Use the wild carve and the. Okay, be careful with the numbers. Now it's created. Configure the IKE phase one ISIKMP policy on R one. Configure the crypto ISIKMP policy ten on R one, along with the share crypto key. BPM PA55. Okay, remember this is the password. Refer to the SAA KMP phase one table for the specific parameters to configure. The four values do not have to be configured. Therefore, only the encryption method, key exchange method, and the Fichelman method must be configured. Okay, the highest Diffie-Hellman group currently supported by Packet Racer is group five. In a production network or real network, you would configure at least the Fichelman group 14. Okay, first, uh, create the crypto ISIKMV policy time. Crypto ISIKMP policy time. Enter. Okay, uh, Okay, the key distribution method by default is ASIKMP. Okay, ready. And uh, encryption AES 256. Encryption AES 256. Enter. Okay, remember the encryption algorithm. By default is DES, but you need to specify AES 256. Authentication pre-share, pre-share key. Okay, authentication pre-share. Enter. Okay, uh, the authentication method by default is RSA. But you need to specify pre share key. And you are not configuring the hash algorithm because by default uh, is SHA1. You will use this for the devices, the default value. The 
في هير مانجروف 5 5 enter the exit create the key exchange the diffie herman group 5 and you are not configuring the ike as a lifetime because by default is 86400 and you will use this these parameters by default okay finally the key use this password bpm p855 okay and crypto isa kmp key bpm p855 okay be careful and the address of the peer remember for r1 the peer is the ip address of serial serial interface on r3 is number uh, 10 2 2 2 okay 10 2 2 2 be careful with the password bpm ba 5 5 enter okay this is the isa kmp key very nice now configure the ike phase 2 ipsec policy on our on r1 Okay, create the transform set BPN set. Okay, use this name. Okay, remember is this name for the second table. Transform set name BPN set. Okay. Remember you can use any name, but for this activity use this case sensitive. Okay, and uh, crypto IPsec transform dash set vpn dash set okay and specify esp aes and esp sha hmac okay and esp aes is the esp transform encryption and esp sha hmac is the esp transform authentication okay esp AES encryption and ESP SHA H Mac for the authentication. Okay, be careful and review this. Enter. Create the crypto map, VPN map that binds all the phase two parameters together. Use sequence number 10 and identify it's an IPsec ISA KMP map. Okay, create the map. Okay, you will use uh, this name for the map. Crypto map. VPN map. Num sequence 10. And specify IPsec ISA KMP. Enter. Okay, be careful with the name. Don't worry about this message. And set a description. Use any description, but use this for this activity. Description VPN connection to R3. Okay, set peer. Okay. Set peer. The same peer. Okay, remember this peer is on serial interface on R3. 10, 2, 2, 2. Set transform dash set. This is this name. The transform set is BPN set. The same name, case sensitive. And okay, transform set. Sorry. Very nice. And match address match address the number of the access list 110 100 exit configure the crypto map on the outgoing interface bind the bpn map crypto map to the outgoing 0000, 000, 000 interface okay you are configuring r1 
and configure this on this interface, on local interface, on R1, serial 000. Interface serial 000. And use this map. This map, this name, VPN map. Crypto map, VPN dash map. Be careful with the name, enter, and exit. Now you can see ISA KMP is on. Now configure IPsec parameters on R3. Enable the security technology package. On R3, issue show version command to verify that the security technology package license information has been enabled. If the security technology package has not been enabled, enable the package and reload R3. Okay, go to R3, verify, enter um, password Cisco con PA55. Enable Cisco and PA55 show version to verify. Enter space, space, space. And security is activated. Security K9 already activated. So continue. Configure router R3 to support site to site VPN okay, with R1. Okay, and configure reciprocating parameters on R3. Configure the access control list 110 to identify the traffic from the LAN on R3 to the LAN on R1. It's interesting. Okay, now the source, you are configuring R3. Now the source R3, uh, this network is the source, the number 30, and this another network is the destination, the number 10. So configure the access list. Configure terminal. Access dash list 110. Permit the source IP 192.168.30. 3. 3.0. Use the wildcards. And the destination is the another side is 10. 192.168.10. 0. 0. 1.0. Use the wildcard. Enter. Okay, review. Be careful with the numbers. Configure the IKE phase one ISKMP properties on R3. Okay. Uh, configure the crypto ISKMP policy 10 properties on R3 along with the shared crypto key. Okay. Crypto. ISA KMP policy 10. Specify the encryption 256. I'm sorry, AES 256. The authentication pre share. Very nice. The Diffie Herman group is 5. Exit. Okay. Remember, other values are set by default. And crypto ISA KMP key. The password should be the same password like configured on R1. So it should be the same BPMPA55. And the peer address. And the peer. What is the peer? For R3, the peer is the IP address of serial 000 on R1. And that IP is 10.1.1.2. Enter. Now configure IKE phase 2 IPsec policy on R3. Okay, the transform set, VPN set. Okay, the name crypto IPsec transform set VPN set ESP AES for the encryption and ESP SHA HMAC for authentication. Okay, 
enter create a crypto map okay sequence number 10 crypto map use this name vpn map vpn dash map sequence 10 ipsec isakmp be careful ipsec isakmp enter don't worry about this message set a description description use this description for this activity vpn connection to r1 set peer this is the peer the same uh, 10112 10, the set transform dash set the transform set is vpn set VPN set match address this address of the access control is 110 exit bind the VPN map to the outgoing serial 001 you are configuring R3 the local interface on R3 is serial 001. Interface serial 00, serial 001. Crypto map VPN dash map. Enter. Exit. Okay. ISA KMP is on. Verify the IPsec VPN. Verify the tunnel prior to interesting traffic. Issue show crypto IPsec SA command on R1. Okay, go to R1, um, exit, um, enter on privilege access mode, use show crypto IPsec SA. Okay, enter, space, space. Notice that the number of packets encapsulated, encrypted, decapsulated and decrypted are set to zero okay encapsulated zero encrypted zero decapsulated zero decrypted zero create interesting traffic ping pcc from pca okay. from pca ping pcc go to pca ping pcc remember the ip address of pcc is 182.168.33 enter very good you can repeat this enter okay all pings okay success also you can use uh, tracer from PCA tracer to PCC enter. now you have three hops after the VPN you have three hops before the VPN you had four hops okay and the first hop is r1 the second hop is r3 and the third hop is pcc notice that there is a virtual connection between r1 and r3 so virtually r2 is ignored verify the tunnel after interesting traffic on R1, reissue the show crypto IPsec SA command. Okay, go to R1, up a row to repeat the previous command, show crypto IPsec SA, enter space space. Notice that the number of packets is more than zero, which indicates that the IPsec VPN tunnel is working. Okay, encapsulated 13, encrypted 13, decapsulated 10, decrypted 10. Very good. Create uninteresting traffic. Ping PCB from PCA. Okay, this is not interesting traffic. Okay, go to PCA and ping the IP address of PCB is 23. 
pin 180.168 to enter. Okay, uh, success and verify the tunnel. Program one, show crypto IPsec as a command. Notice that the number of packets has not changed, which verifies that uninteresting traffic is not encrypted. We okay, go to R1, repeat the previous command, show crypto IPsec as a enter, space, space. Okay, 13, 13. 10, 10 is the previous output. 13, 13, 10, 10. Okay, very good, very nice. Okay, verify completion 100%. Thank you, thank you very much.